welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you wish to donate towards my channel all of the links will be in the description box down below so let's get into your reading pisces so first and foremost my energy has been all over today don't ask me what's happening but something is happening um candle went out on a reading that i was doing for it was actually supposed to be for the a collective reading as to what your person the person that was being divinely guided and led to you um wanted you to know the candle went out on that so literally I had to stop the reading because didn't want to tap into energy that I was not supposed to. So I ended up putting that reading inside the members area because I just don't know what's happening right here right now. So we got Wolf Moon. I will watch over you. So a protector. Man's best friend. But also Wolf Moon could be a wolf. I don't know if that's like a wolf dog or something. Or it could be a real wolf. The numbers one talking about individuality a beautiful little worm take care of yourself the number is 17 so that's like a silkworm but she's sitting on a rose petal okay angel of alchemy miracles happening the number is 21 and autumn is my last chance so please don't lose hope somebody is wanting you to know do not let go of their energy or their essence or just them so 1 17 21 6 March 1st March 17th February 21st March 6th okay we have five of cups regret failure disappointment pessimism loss and grief so you could potentially maybe gr regretting a situation that happened or someone else is regretting something that happened um it's giving me don't cry over spilled milk okay so Deal with whatever you feel, your emotions, but don't stay there for too long. Let it go. It is what it is. It has happened. Uh-oh. So somebody was very dismissive, dismissive of you or your energy, and so it's walking away. But I literally pulled that. It landed on a table. I slid it on the floor, okay? So giving me the feeling of it just took somebody out. Whatever this is, very much disappointed. Um feeling abandoned withdrawal escapism walking away leaving something behind more cups energy so more emotions dealing with your emotions your feelings we got march 5th march 8th okay so letting something go or letting someone go because please don't lose hope is definitely a vibe of letting our energy go releasing let go and let god all right we got a ten of cups i mean ten of cups a ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck that would be this way All right, so walking away, um, we got the hermit here, soul searching, introspection, contemplation, wisdom, truth seeking, being alone, independence, inner guidance, meditation, and consciousness. So somebody basically trying to figure out what happened. Where did we go wrong? What, what could I have done um, in order to fix the situation? So selflessness and integration here. We also have the three of wands here. Preparation, progress, foresight, enterprise, expansion, overseas opportunities. We have March 8th, March 9th, March 3rd. 999 is actually on the table. So a synchronicity here. Somebody wondering what I could have done in order to fix the situation. This is possibly you or them trying to figure this out. But it's like... A, just a, a one of the things that just had to happen because something is different there's a change happening in your energy and 
this being the midpoint looks like over here sad hurt loneliness over here abundance blessings and manifestation wishes so dreams coming true so it's almost like in order for you to get to this you had to go through this so that could be you wondering like where did i go wrong what did i do um but it was destined it was the design the design of things it had to happen um we have the nine of pentacles here fruits of your labor rewards luxury self-sufficiency financial independence so you being able to take care of yourself um you moving along and whatever your next phase is it's actually bringing abundance and um security into your energy we got a queen of wands energy being courageous confident independence focus a zest for life determination and joy so having to move forward maybe by yourself because also you got a card saying please don't lose hope so somebody's definitely trying to come back into your energy or there's a new energy trying to come into your energy but they're hesitant or they haven't they've been hindered in some form or fashion so we have a wish coming true contentment satisfaction emotional stability luxury and gratitude strength compassion completions optimism and um what do you want pisces so going forward into this situation what do you want a miracle happening out of nowhere in your energy so that is something unexpected but something that happens for your favor all right so i'm just gonna get some new cards because i just want to leave this one as this was the pathway in order to get to this energy you had to go through this energy so you had to go through whatever heartbreak heartache whatever situation disappointment abandonment whatever it was you had to go through that in order to and escapism is almost like you had to do something in order to like uh remove yourself away from the situation so escaping almost seems like something was detrimental like you had to get out of that situation but either way clarity being there so you gain clarity all right so i just want to get rid of this and then let's see what the next phase is you got a ten of cups at the bottom of the deck happiness and all the great things so let's see what happens on the next phase so one thing we get the other you had to go through one thing in order to get to the next phase all right what does pisces need to know now all right, you've been working hard. What does Pisces need to know now? All right, let's see what happens. All right, justice being brought in in a situation. So alignment, balance, fairness, truth, clarity, equality, cause and effect law. What does Pisces need to know next? So you're definitely going to get uh, justice in whatever you have gone through. Divine saying that we got to bring things into alignment. All right, seeds that you have planted, long-term view, hard work, perseverance, diligence, sustainable results, um, seeds that you had planted coming into fruition. So that's like uh, you doing the work previously and now, wow, okay, the sun is here. Your birthday could be February the 19th, March the 11th, March the 7th, okay? Positivity, pleasure, happiness, vitality, fun, warmth, joy, celebration, success, rebirth, all is well. So reaping the rewards of everything that has gone on. So definitely getting and obtaining everything that you've ever wanted um, or the thing that you were trying to get when you planted these seeds. So things coming into fruition. So totally a good vibe there let's see let's see what else what else does pisces need to know what does pisces need to know at this moment communication is key so we got a queen of swords energy here unbiased judgment independent clear boundaries direct communication clear-minded perceptive what does what is the what does Pisces need to know right now? So creating 
clear boundaries when it comes to your energy. Uh oh, okay. Creating clear boundaries with this emperor person, or you being the emperor, making sure that you're creating clear boundaries. Respect, leadership, stability, structure, rules, and power. What does Pisces need to know right now? Last card. What does Pisces need to know right now? All right. There's no need to worry about a situation. Worrying doesn't is not going to do anything. So basically somebody or the situation is playing out the way karma was like it was destined or designed um there's no need for you to worry about it because it's going to happen the way it's supposed to happen and at this point so we get, we already had nine nine so march 9th being there but anyway the the point is establishing clear boundaries um whenever i don't know if this is basically you entering into this partnership with this person or if you're this person and it's basically saying whatever you're about to do make sure you establish clear establish clear boundaries there's no need in worrying about what a person's going to say or what a person's going to do because you being an emperor having high morals how high values high standards say what you mean mean what you say don't worry about how it comes off Be a person of high morals, high value, high character, and stand your guard, stand your ground, speak your truth. So that's what that's giving me. All right, Pisces. So this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming into my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.